Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to start. This is the first uh, video segment of uh, about the six to in total video segment tutorial of how to install Python 3.6 and install Eclipse, PyDev, and then that will set up the development environment to develop the Django application. Uh, uh, again, Django is a Pyth uh, is a web framework written in Python, and what we're gonna, what are we going to do is going to you know do uh, put together a website uh, using uh, Python 3.6, Eclipse, PyDev on Windows 10. Okay, to do the web development work. So uh, the first step is actually download the Python. So uh, I have uh, I have some instructions. I, I'm gonna post uh, this instruction along with the video on YouTube. Okay. So the first step is download Python 3.6. Now I have a link here. Actually, if you click on that, you will be able to download directly. Okay. But uh, I'm gonna go through this to show you. So uh, this is what you go, what you do. So you will go to the where is it? So I, because I, I have done this. So let me try this. Python. Okay, Python download. Let me see this. Okay. So I, all I did was Google the Python download, and that's where I, I want to go. So we're using Python 3.6.1. Okay. The version you want to download uh, for this, you go to the link where it's. The version you want to download is this one. It's this version. Okay, it's, this, it's the Windows 64-bit executable download. Okay, and again, I posted this link directly in here. I'm going to put that on the YouTube as well here. Okay, so you can just download from there directly. Okay. So I already did it. So let me show you uh, in my download directory. This is what we have. Okay. So uh, I'm going to click this to download this. Now there's a. I have few nodes on this install, and I want to. I want to make sure before I start, you will see it. Okay. First is actually make sure you select a customized install option when you install. Okay. Once you finish the install, you need to make sure you edit the Windows path environmental variables with the path where you install this. Okay, so I'll show you. Okay. So now I started, right? I click on this, double click on start, uh, right? Notice this is what I was talking about, folks. Make sure you do this, okay? You select customize installation, not the default, okay? Select the customize installation, okay? Leave all the other option as it is. Don't touch it, okay? Don't touch it. And so I click on this, leave all the option again. Click on next. Now here's I want to make the change, okay? Because it's really the location of where you store the Python, install the Python, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all the paths here, highlight here, okay? All these, I'm going to delete all this, so just leave the tail end of that path, okay? So I will, I will just use this. So it's very short, C colon slash Python 3.6. That's the path we're going to use, okay? Now, uh, I'm also going to select to install for all users. Uh, this actually option is not critical, but I do it. Okay. You can just follow it. Just click on this. So next one is notice now this is at, at the root level, right? At the C drive root level. Okay. Please follow exactly what I do because the uh, tutorial on Django's uh, later we're all assuming it's the installation of these uh you know 
Python interpreters and and uh, pa packages. Okay, so please follow exactly what I do. I mean, if you don't like it, once you get good at it, you can you know set up your own environment how you want to do it. But just follow exactly what I for now. Okay. So once it so we did the first one. Right? Make sure we select the customized installation option. Right. So. Once it's finished the install, we're gonna do these two steps, okay? Make sure you add this to the Windows Path environment variables, okay? All right, so the installation is done. So what, what I'm gonna do is to, to complete the last step, which is make Add the path to the environmental variable. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So the way everybody has different, there are different ways to do this, but this is how I do it. I click on the Windows File Manager, right? And then in the File Manager on the left, there is an icon called this PC. I click on the right button. I click on the right button. Click on the property, right? And then I will select the advanced system setting okay click on this okay click on the advanced system setting so i click on the advanced system then i click the environmental variables you click this button okay click this button so i click on the environmental variables now uh it pops up the list of the environment variables make sure you select the, the system variable the path okay not the user variable there are two paths past environment variables you want to do the uh, make the change to the path on the system under the system variable list so click on edit right so let me make sure uh, i want to make sure this is the variable you want to make the change okay you you make change click the edit to edit this path okay so i will highlight the path and click the edit Right, so now I need to add uh, the path I I talked about in this instruction. Okay, I need to add uh, these two variables. So so I click on the new, right, and then I will come add uh, this to now. I'll tell you where this come from. Actually, if you look at the your your C drive, right, this is where it is. See the C drive, right. Yeah, the C drive and uh, there is a path remember that here so you need to add this path to the Windows environment variable okay so I click here so C colon slash Python three six right so that's the first one now I need to add another one which is the script because a lot of utilities are actually inside of this directory. It's called script. I want to be able to system be able to tell to know where to locate this. So I need to add this to. So this is what the the variable, right? So I come over here, I do a new and I put it right. Okay, so these are the two variables I need to add. Uh, I'm sorry, these are the two paths I need to add to the path environment variable okay so the system can tell when you type in the command where to look for okay so once you add these to it and you click okay okay and then okay all right now we have done the steps you know stated in here okay so the way you can test this actually is pretty sh straightforward so what we do is we will test this okay and we will start by doing a command line. We'll start a command line. And then in the command line, you type in Python. See? So this tells you, tells me everything is set up correctly because when I type this, uh, system knows where it goes look for, which is C colon slash Python 3.6 for, for this program, right? And it also tells me the version, which is the version I installed, okay? So that's all good. Now, how do I make sure the script file 
a path is set setting correctly. Uh, well, the, one of the most often used uh, utilities is called PIP. It's Python package uh, program. So you will be using this to install and install some of the Python packages during your programming. So uh, if you type pip, it should work. If it doesn't, that means your script path is not setting correctly in the system path environment variable. Okay, so if I type in pip here, hit a return. So that means it's good, right? So it returned it, uh, send all, it tell me what the command syntax would be, give me the help, you know, instructions. So that's all set up correctly. And that's really it that means your python environment is setting correctly uh before i end this video segment i want to make sure uh some of the folks in uh, watching this probably have the python 2.7 installed already on your machine uh you can you know coexist them uh, coexist both uh, by changing the variables use virtual environment but uh, to simplify the learning process, I want to focus on Python 3.6 and Django Windows 10. So I will say is please uninstall your Python 2.7, clean up all the environment. We're starting from Windows, uh, uh, start from Python 3.6 on Windows. Okay, so please, uh, if you already have 2.7 in, uh, installed, please uninstall them. Even though it might work, but just install them, okay? Because we're doing this for class learning purposes, not for development. So to simplify the, uh, you know, stream uh, the the process to focus on this tutorial, just uninstall uh, Python 2.7 if you have done uh, have the 2.7 on your machine, uh, you know, in system, okay? Thank you. Thank you for watching.